Drawing can be different if you know some amazing art life hacks. Stephanie's sponge snapped its neck. And how is she supposed to paint a star-studded sky now? She asks her friend for a new tool. But Redhead gives her an old squishy. It turns out that it works even better than a sponge. Cut an old squishy in half. Dip the spongy part into acrylic paint. And apply it onto paper. Use the squishy as a painting sponge. Paint a blue sky. Use different shades. Add small and big stars using a thin brush with silver paint. Stephanie loves the idea of painting with a squishy. It's art and a stress reliever all in one. I wonder how it turned out. It's an amazing picture of a starry sky. Redhead found soft slime. It will do great as a painting tool. Take a piece of glass and some acrylic paint dissolved in water. And soft slime. Dip the slime into paint and make imprints on the glass. Create soft transitions. Place a piece of paper onto the wet paint. Smooth it out and pat the paper. Quickly take it off. Your picture is all done. This slime picture turned out a little blurry. On the other hand, it's a great stress reliever for a tired artist. Stephanie was inspired by Legos. Plus, she's obsessed with cats. Stephanie decides to blend Legos, cats, and her art talent. Trace rectangular Legos on paper. Slightly move them and mark lines. Draw parts of a Lego cat in the rectangles you get. Add details and color it with paints. Stephanie created an adorable Unikitty using Legos as a basis. A construction toy is a great tool for an artist. Redhead can't handle a simple picture of Kai from Ninjango. He refuses to pose for her. But a simple trick will help her draw her favorite character. Draw the outline of a Ninjango character step by step. Start with simple details and go on to defining the weapon. Paint the character. This isn't magic. Redhead created a handsome Lego man bit by bit. And she didn't even need to use any actual pieces. A Minecraft creeper drops by Stephanie's art studio. Don't be afraid. It just came to order a scaled up self-portrait. Stephanie understands right away that this client is special. She will make the best portrait. Trace Lego bricks on paper. Add details to make a Lego Minecraft creeper. Color it with markers. Well, Creep, do you like the result? Creeper is a very picky art lover, but he is satisfied with the portrait. The similarity is striking, and the scale is perfect. Rubber ducks are attacking our friend Redhead. They demand that she introduce them to the mysterious world of art. Fine! <laughs> Coat the bottom part of a rubber duck with acrylic paint. Apply a few thick layers of different colors. Make an imprint on paper. Apply a few shades of paint onto a big duck. Leave an imprint in the middle. Coat a tip of a balloon with paint and add a tail to the big circle in the center. Define fish eyes and a mouth with a brush. Add details on the tail, fins, and bubbles of water. 
turn all the imprints into colorful fish. Add bubbles in the background. Well, duckies, do you like our first painting? The rubber ducks don't respond to criticism anyway. Let's see how many likes this underwater picture can get on Duckgram. Stephanie wants to draw a picture of her favorite LOL doll. She tries tracing the shape on paper, but this trick doesn't work. There is a blurry jelly silhouette on her paper instead. Then she will have to work like an actual artist. Stephanie draws the portrait using a model and making measurements with her pencil. Draw a big LOL doll in sunglasses and a swimsuit on paper. Color it with paints. Stephanie works harder and gets a nice portrait of her LOL doll. She can frame it and hang it in the LOL Hall of Fame. Redhead is in search of some art inspiration. What should she draw? Redhead chooses cookie. What should I start with? Probably a plate. Trace a plate on a piece of paper. Draw glasses and big round eyes. Add some little circles. Color the drawing with markers. Draw hearts at the bottom. Redhead creates her favorite Shopkins character quickly and easily. I think it looks exactly the same. Stephanie is looking for a new model. And here's her beloved Barbie. Redhead knows that her Barbie also has some artistic skills and gives her a backpack with real paints. Cut backpack pieces out of sparkly foam paper. Apply a drop of hot glue to a pink zipper and cut it to be the right size. Attach it to a strip of foam paper with a hole that fits the size of the zipper. Bend it into an arch. Fasten it to a side of the backpack. Make cuts on the other side using a utility knife and stick in foam paper straps. Hot glue to fasten. Assemble the body of the backpack. Add a foam paper bottom. Make a pocket from an oval piece and a strip of foam paper and hot glue it to the front of the backpack. Add sparkly stars and put in watercolor paints on a fabric base. This glittering backpack looks great on Barbie, but Stephanie didn't expect to see such a colorful surprise inside. She starts painting with the new watercolors right away. Stephanie runs into trouble. All her brushes are missing somewhere. Redhead comes to the rescue again. She gives her friend her own brush. Gosh, it's a leg. Cut a leg of a broken doll at the knee. Glue in a broken brush without a handle. Stephanie is taking a close look at this miracle of genetic engineering. This brush leg monster looks a little scary. On the other hand, it's very creative. Well, let's try it out. Redhead lost her inspiration. There are no new thoughts on her mind except for destructive ones. Save your forehead for art, friend. Here, take a pack of clay for inspiration. This clay actually produces an idea in Redhead's head. Let's use it instead of paints. Draw a unicorn and a rainbow on paper. Make a thin roll from blue clay. Wrap a spiral. Attach it to the paper. Cover the sky around the unicorn and the rainbow with blue clay spirals. Cover the entire surface with them. Use clay of different shades. Roll pink clay and attach it to the top of the rainbow. Wrap the end into a spiral. Press it with your fingers. 
Cover the entire rainbow with different shades of clay. Add purple accents to the sky. Cover the unicorn with light pink clay. Attach a colorful mane and a tail. Add clay details. Decorate the rainbow with stars. Redhead is creating a clay masterpiece. She loves the result. This magical unicorn looks like it just came out of a clay world. It's very beautiful and has an unusual soft effect. Stephanie is using chalk, but there is one minor issue. Her fingers get dirty all the time. Then a great idea pops into Stephanie's mind. She uses a cocktail straw as a handle for the chalk. Cut wide cocktail straws at an angle. Stick in sharpened colored chalks. Stephanie puts chalks into the straw holder. Now drawing with it isn't messy. Who said that Legos are just a toy? Redhead makes art tools out of them. A paint palette and a brush stand. Make a strip out of old Lego pieces. Turn over plastic bottle caps and hot glue them to it. Put Lego minifigures on the base. Stick brushes into their hands. Redhead puts brushes into her Lego organizer and fills her palette with paint. Regular serious art tools are just not Redhead's cup of tea. Did you like our drawing life hacks? Then let us know in the comments which ones you would use while creating your masterpieces. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new fun drawing hacks on Troom Troom.